It's time for custom voice evacuation number... Oh god, I think it might be 10. I don't know. It's on the screen there. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm filming currently on my dad's phone because my phone died and my dad's phone is at 18%, so we're going to have to make this little setup a little quick here. Uh, but at any rate, um, it's on the main system today, which is pretty cool. Um, setup is Bluetooth again, which is really awesome. I really like that it's Bluetooth. It's fabulous. Let's go over to the speaker strobe. Up here today, we have the what EST Integrity Horn strobe? No way. Well, um, so this is actually a speaker strobe. Um, it used to be a horn strobe, um, but I found that you can take the horn off this thing pretty easily, and I put a speaker behind it instead of the horn. Don't worry, I'm going to put the horn back on uh, soon, but I got really sick of seeing the E70 up there, and uh, I decided to do something a little different. So today we have a mock EST Integrity speaker strobe. And someone's been wanting me to put the integrity up on the system for a while, so uh, thus I have done that. All right, we are going to go ahead and um, pull the BG-12 here. Uh, the message is an EST integrity tone with an EVAX uh, voice evacuation. Should be pretty fun. Here we go. We shall go ahead and silence from the iPad, reset the pull station. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but Edward Signaling actually has a whole library of their sound files for their voice evacuation panels, which is really, really awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put my iPad down here so I can adjust the grip on my phone. All right, there we go. That's easy. Um, and so now if you scroll through here, you can find basically every single file that Edwards has put on their alarms in existence, which is pretty great. Like here we see high-low, horn, uh, NFPA whoop, all this really great stuff. And there's like three pages full of this. If you even look, they even have like Yellow Rose of Texas and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, they have like three pages of this stuff on their uh, website, edwardsignals.com. And it's under product documents and software and under the sound files. Um, over here you have like all these tones. Uh, so you know what? If they're here, we might as well use them. Let's go ahead and play some of these tones. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with my favorite EST tone, the NFPA Whoop. Here we go. Three, two, one. And I guess it only does it twice. So what you can do is if you want that to go on for more, you can loop it or download it into GarageBand, which is pretty cool. And just for fun, we'll play a couple more tones through this so you guys can see how this works. How about we do um, Fast Whoop, which is another one of my favorite tones. So we'll load here. Are you going to work, Internet? There we go. So say you had one of those tones go off and you wanted to make an announcement to building occupants. What we can do is we can use our handy dandy microphone app and we can go ahead and do that. Attention building occupants, there has been a report of an emergency. Please stand by for further instructions while we verify this alarm. 
Thank you. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and play a chime tone and then give an all clear message through the microphone. Here we go. Get our microphone up. Attention please, the testing of the fire alarm system is complete. Please respond to all signals accordingly for this point forward. Thank you for your cooperation during this test. Well, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with that being said, like the video, leave comments, and of course subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. Fun with this. Attention, Attention building, building occupants, dab all the haters. haters.